welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be sharing with you my 29 to 30 week bump date. I know I usually do trimester updates, but now that we're getting closer to when Ellie is going to be born, I figured I would update you guys a little more often. I'm super excited for today's video. It is a collaboration with my friend Jordan from The A Homestead. I will leave her channel links down below. So after you're done watching my video, you can go over and check out her bump date. I believe it is her 28 or 29 week. We are like super close with our due dates. Um, we're both due in January. I'm due like the middle and she's due like a little bit towards like the end. Um, she typically answers questions, so I went ahead and wrote down all Jordan's questions that she answers in her bump day videos so I can answer them today to make our videos kind of mesh a little better. Um, Jordan is expecting her rainbow baby, a sweet little boy, and in her 26-week pregnancy update, so you might want to go check out that one of hers as well, she talks about her daughter Sadie and just everything um, and how they are here today with the rainbow baby. Um, so definitely go check out her channel. She also has like cooking videos and all kinds of stuff. So go check out her channel after you're done watching this video. Um, I think you're really gonna love what her channel offers. So I am going to answer all of these questions. I'm super excited super excited. <laughs> okay, so how am I feeling? I am feeling pretty good. Um, I, ha I am a little bit more irritable lately than normally, but that's expected. You know, you get a certain, you get far enough along in your pregnancy and you get a little irritable. So that is probably like the main thing. Other than that, like I feel pretty good, like pretty good overall. How is baby? So baby is doing super well. I'm actually going to kind of just answer the next two in one. The third question is size of baby. So baby super well. We went to our MFM appointment today. That's maternal fetal medicine. Um, I'm being monitored there every four weeks for baby's growth and um, just to make sure everything's going smoothly since this is my first child after VSG surgery, which is a weight loss surgery. Um, and so they're just like monitoring. I got pregnant six months post-op, so they're monitoring her pretty closely, but she's doing wonderful. So last, my last appointment at 25 weeks, she was, uh, two pounds, which was like what she should be weighing closer to now. Like she should just be barely a little over two pounds. Uh, but she is three pounds, 13 ounces. Um, I know a lot of people are like, oh, you can't go off ultrasound, but this is MFM, like, that is why I'm going there, is to make sure she's growing properly, so they are very skilled with their measurements, um, so yeah, she is 3 pounds, 13 ounces in the 75th percentile, and last time she was in the 50th percentile, so she's going up. They for selfish reasons, because I don't want another C-section. I really want to have a VBAC. I will do more of like what I'm hoping for my birth plan uh, and my, my no birth plan because it's really up in the air um, in a later video, but I'm hoping for a VBAC. And with that, because my last son was nine pounds, 10 ounces, and he couldn't get through my pelvis, um, she has to be under nine, like nine pounds or less for me to be able to attempt one. Um, which I, I didn't even think that that was going to be an issue because they say babies after weight loss surgery are smaller. Not the case for our little one. She is growing wonderfully and I'd rather have her grow wonderfully and have a cesarean any day. Um, so now we're just making sure she doesn't end up with the growth restriction later on. But as of now, she is measuring 33 to 34 weeks and we were a few days shy of 30 weeks at the ultrasound. So she is doing super well. She had the hiccups after, um, my video, I will play her ultrasound pictures. They are so cute. I'm so excited to share them with you guys. Like super, super excited. So the next question is maternity clothes. And along with that, I'm going to throw in my weight gain. Um, I know a lot of people are always curious about like, especially being a VSG patient, 
how much weight have I gained, and I am literally sitting at zero pounds now. So it was like three to five is like kind of what I was fluctuating, but we haven't been eating that much fast food and just eating more at home, and I have managed to lose weight. I'm, I weigh exactly the same as the day I took my pregnancy test. So yeah, I was a little nervous going to my appointment today because I knew that I had lost a little bit of weight according to their scale. And I was worried that the baby was going to have like be small or something, but nope, she's, she's getting everything she needs. So in reality, I will most likely come out lighter <laughs> once she's born than when I started. And I'm okay with that as long as little Elizabeth is growing well. That's all I could ever ask for. Um, as far as maternity clothes, I'm like, I have some maternity clothes, like these leggings are maternity, and then I'm wearing a nursing tank top. But this is just a normal athletic shirt that you can get at Walmart, and a lot of my shirts are just normal. So I'm in a combination. Uh, really, most of my clothes fit me. All my leggings. The only thing is, is like jeans and stuff. And I don't really wear jeans. I just wear leggings anyways. So pretty much everything still fits me. Uh, but maternity clothes are obviously more comfortable because they're made for bigger bellies. Um, and I am like self-conscious about my stomach. So most of my shirts are flowy anyways. How am I sleeping? So not the best. I take USOM every night. And if I get woken up in like like my husband goes to work between like 3.30 and 4 while he gets up for work. Um, if I get woken up at that time, your girl's awake for the day. And that is hard because I need my sleep. I want my sleep. I typically don't wake up, excuse me, <laughs> until my kids get up around like 7 or 8. So that sucks. <laughs> the best moment this week, it was definitely going to my ultrasound and seeing the baby you get just such a peace of mind when you go and know your baby is healthy and growing how they're supposed to. If you hear my son crying, don't worry. Dad is out there. He will handle it. He's playing with his big brothers. Um, This is like the third time I filmed this because they're loud. The animals are loud. But you know what? We already know this. We already know I have four little boys and a million pets. <laughs> So, um, the next question is, am I missing anything? Yes, I am. I'm missing alcohol. And that sounds really bad. But I had some beer cheese, like, a few weeks ago from Buffalo Wild Wings. And it really made me want a beer. And then we went out to Mexican food. And someone had a margarita. And I was like, oh my gosh, it looks so good. Like, I would love to order one, but I can't. And then now, with the holidays coming up, a mimosa just sounds so good. But obviously, I can't have that yet. I did buy some, like, fake wine uh, for the holiday season just so I can feel, like, fit in with my family, I guess. I don't know. We'll try it. We'll see if I like it. I don't know, though. Um, movements. She is now not in a breech position, so I'm feeling like tons of high kicks, and she gets the hiccups all the time, so she moves a ton, like a ton. She does have quiet moments, and in those quiet moments, I think every mother can relate, you get nervous, but thankfully, if I drink some like body armor or water and poke at her, I'll get a couple kicks and movements, and then I feel a little bit better. Um, and she passes all her kick counts and I don't even start her kick counts until I can tell that she's awake. Um, just because like, I don't want to, I don't want to worry myself. I, this pregnancy have worried so much and I need to stop worrying. <laughs> um, food cravings, Mexican food. I love Mexican food. Uh, it is definitely my favorite this time around. I could literally eat a like enchilada or a tamale or a chili riano rice and beans every day if someone would make it for me because i'm not gonna make you mexican food um anything making me sick no not really in the beginning i had a really hard time dealing with like raw meat i still do a little bit uh like 
the other day I was cutting up chicken. It's actually in a previous video. Um, that was a little hard for me. It grosses me out. Chicken grosses me out. Um, that's one of the reasons why I've had a hard time cooking this pregnancy. It's just like the meat kind of grosses me out. But once it's cooked, it's fine. It's the raw meat that makes me like a little... Mm. But overall... I would say like I don't, I don't really have like morning sickness or sickness this pregnancy. Labor signs, not labor signs, but I definitely do have Braxton Hicks and real contractions and the good old round ligament pain. Um, so I wouldn't say they're labor signs. Um, they're not really something that like I find concerning. I had predominant labor with my last baby, and so. I was used to labor starting and stopping, starting and stopping. So I'm not really worried as long as it doesn't like continue to get closer together, stronger, you know, that's, that's how labor works. Like it starts off light and eventually gets more intense. So if I ever feel like it's going to get intense, of course I'd go into labor and delivery. Symptoms, just round ligament pain and like, I guess like food abrasions is actually what the raw meat thing would be because I'm not like getting sick but it's like ooh. um and I am really sensitive to sm like certain smells like bad breath my kids my husband the dog like anything like that oh. no count me out <laughs> Um, my belly button is in or out. It is in just like normal. I've never had an Audi. I think they're really cute though. Um, yeah. So am I still wearing my wedding ring? Yes, I am. My last pregnancy, I had to go buy a fake ring, but this time I can put it on and off just fine. Same with this one. And these are my rings that I wear like all the time. So I'm still able to wear both of them, which makes me really happy. And the last question is, what am I looking forward to? So I'm really looking forward to this holiday season and getting everything ready for Ellie. I feel like this, like she can come really in 50 days and she'd be full term. Um, and that's just crazy to me. Like she'd be 37 weeks, she'd be healthy and fine. So to think that like there's a chance that I could have her between like 50 and 70 days. It's just really crazy. Um, it's exciting. I still have a lot to do and I look forward to doing those things to make the time go by faster. And that's kind of why I procrastinate at getting the things done. Like people that I talk to, they're always like, wait, you don't have, you don't have your bedside nursery set up. You don't have your hospital bag packed. You don't have her stuff washed. And no, I don't because I want the last weeks to go by fast. And in all honesty, if you have a baby early, they're in the NICU, so you have time to come home and get the things done if you need to. So really, I try to save that stuff for like 32 weeks and onward. Um, so here in just a few weeks, I'm definitely going to be doing that. And I definitely have lots of nesting. So those are all the questions. Um, and those were some good questions. I should actually probably do this more often. Um, anyways, I just want to say thank you guys so much for watching. Um, I will put Ellie's ultrasound pictures that I got today. They're 3D. I think one might even be 40. I don't even know. But they're so cute. Some of them are a little distorted, so don't mind that. But, you know, she's in there with all that stuff. Um, uh, and make sure you guys go check out the A Homestead. Um her channel is just, it, it's cute. <laughs> I definitely feel it. Um, yeah, and just thank you guys so much for watching. Please like and subscribe. It would mean so much to me. And if you are from her channel, please leave a comment down below so I can interact with you guys and say hi. And if you're from my channel going to hers, leave a comment letting her know that I sent you that way. Um, yeah, so, uh, and also... Here's like a little sneak peek. Um, I might be doing a maternity shoot, like a milk bath maternity shoot. And if I get it done and the pictures are all done and edited in time, I will insert those. This is, this is the now Katie possibly inserting something. When I'm so I hope I can add those for you guys. I have a feeling I too. I don't know though. But my sister's taking 
super excited about that. That's why I'm filming this on a Friday instead of on like the actual. Another season, really.